This episode of The Basic Filmmaker is brought to you by Screechy Things. <coughs> kind of went out and looked at a bunch of different people's videos. Hey, I had a tiny bit of time this week and I decided to go out and check some videos. I've had a lot of requests for videos on, can you watch my video and tell me what's happening? Can you watch this video and tell me what's happening? And I normally don't do that because I don't like to tell people that something's wrong with their videos. As I've said in many episodes, I figure anyone who has the guts to actually make a video and post it is pretty much awesome. And anyone who doesn't, well, doesn't. There's a couple of things I noticed in my travels through the YouTube nets on a lot of these videos. Um, I think some people are scared of this mode called M or manual mode. Uh, for a photographer, from what I'm told from a photographer, shooting on M mode is a cardinal sin. Uh, if you don't have your camera on M, then you're not really a photographer and you should be cast into the depths of photography hell. Uh, that's not totally true. Um, there is auto mode where the camera decides things for you. Now in photography, and I probably am going to get slammed by photographers for saying this, but in photography, when you point the camera at something and you press the button and everything's on auto, the camera says, I'm gonna focus, and here's your auto white balance, and here's your auto ISL, and even says, here's your auto aperture, and it takes a picture. In video land, the problem with that is you're taking picture, 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 one after the other, 24, or 30, or 60, or 950 frames a second. Woohoo! not on that camera. Uh, and what happens is if you're in auto mode, the camera's deciding for you. Well, because you're taking all these pictures one after another, after another, after another, after another, which is video, it, the camera itself is going to try and compensate for things changing. Uh, if the light changes, if the, uh, person changes, if, if things change within the video, the camera is going to try and compensate because it's in automatic mode and you're saying, to hell with my mind, I'm gonna let the camera decide for me. That's not so good. So, you switch to the big M mode, the scary M mode for some people, and you decide you're going to use that mode. Well, when you switch to this mode, there are settings in there that are still set on auto. Two of the most important settings that I've seen that should be off are auto ISO and auto white balance. And let me tell you why. Uh, I have this light here. If I take this light and I move it like this in front of the camera, you notice what you see is, well, the light. You don't see anything really changing except the light going in front of the camera. So if I do this, it doesn't change the settings. Looking up on my monitor, my ISO is the same. Everything's the same. My white balance isn't changing and my ISO isn't changing because I told the camera, don't do that. Let me show you what happens when you forget to turn those off. All right, now I've set this camera, it's still in M mode. I set this camera to say, I'm gonna allow you to determine the ISO and I'm gonna allow you to determine the white balance. So the camera is automatically determining the white balance and the ISO for me. So let's say I'm shooting outside and the sun's moving along, or I have windows over here and the light changes throughout the day, the camera's gonna change. Let me show you what happens. It's coming along, the camera's like, whoa, what's going on? And then we move it over, the camera goes, hey, I wanna adjust for that. Move it back, the camera adjusts for that. Move it over here, the camera readjusts. So we have this camera that's determining what's going on. Now when I hold up this light, I don't want the ISO to adjust, nor do I want the white balance to adjust. I want it to stay the same, because now it's adjusting for the light. I'm shooting all sorts of light through the lens and the camera's going, oh my God, uh, I need to turn things down to make it look good. Oh my God, I need to turn things to look good. I mean, I'm watching this monitor. Yeah, now it's adjusting, look at that. 
Now watch this. Oh, there we go. You really don't want that. The thing you want to do is, no matter what mode you're shooting, um, turn off your auto white balance and set it to something, uh, even if it's sunny or indoors or tungsten or, or do a custom white balance if you want. And for your ISO, turn that off. Look at the monitor or look at your histogram or look at your exposure controls and get your exposure set up, your ISO set up after all your lights are on and do it that way and then it's fixed and then you don't have, watching my monitor here, you don't have that occurring. So I'm gonna go drop my uh, little light thing that I practically destroyed in a video before. I'm gonna turn that off now. Okay, I'm back. I've set the camera back to the white balance I want. In this case, I use a custom white balance. And I've set the ISO back to what I think looks good. In this case, it says uh, 640. Uh, now I have control. I would show you this again, but this thing that I practically destroyed in another video is now, well, it's completely destroyed. But you saw it before. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching. when you set auto ISO and the other <laughs> auto thing that I can't remember and can't say even though the thing is on my camera and I turn it off because I don't remember it because I don't use it. That's not gonna get a PG rating. <laughs>